I'm back. World War Three has not broken out. My children are all okay. And so we, having made our little house in video one, we're gonna have a go with this and make a hedgehog. It's another simple clay craft that means, and as I'm talking, like last time I'm doing something. We're not doing like the J Loma houses. This is based maybe on Beatrix Potter. Let's see if I can find you a picture. And she has lovely hedgehogs and that's what we're gonna make. We're hedgehog Beatrix Potter. There we go, let's see if we can find you an image. Oh yeah, got some nice images. Oh, I'll show you those in a minute. So, yeah. It's a really lovely illustration and I was in the Victoria and Albert Museum not that long ago and they've got a whole corridor of Beatrix, Beatrix Potter stuff really lovely pictures and she's worth doing once you can get out of your house and go and see museums again anyway back to the clay i've rolled it and it's a dubious it's not the best of balls but it'll do again we want a flat bit so bang it down nice and flat um i've got all those cracks again so get your dipping water dip in and just smooth and rub and we'll get rid of those cracks now <laughs> mine's got a bit of a bump on the top so I'm just going to just sort of smooth that out could make a tortoise we're not doing a Beatrix Potter hedgehog okay right then we need to pinch the nose. So I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. You literally just pinch either side. It's really simple. And we've got that shape. Again, I'm going to do a little bit of a dip and kind of smooth off any marks I don't like. And you can smooth it a bit to make it the shape you like using my chopstick or if you prefer your pencil you can put your eyes in so there we've got your hedgehog's eyes I'm going to use my scissors might make a no mm. I was thinking I'd make a nose but I didn't like it so I rubbed it out Right, and now he needs a little tail. So we do the same thing, not as much as we did for the eyes. And you can see I'm smoothing it, smoothing it down a bit. It's just got a little bit. And if you like, from the sides, you can pinch four feet. See. I have a wonky hedgehog. Well, I guess life's like that. We're all a little bit wonky. Okay, I'm going to smooth his tail. So I don't want the dents so much. And I'm going to smooth his feet a bit because I don't want them as big as I've made them. You can make yours any size. So when you dip your finger in the water, it helps you smooth the clay. And that's the other side. Oh, there we go. I'm, I'm, I'm making the dents, I think I got a bit too enthusiastic with the feet. So you can see his eyes, and there is his, his feet dent, and there's his little tail. 
Now, for his feet, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to just press them in. I hope you can see that. Gives him a sort of little feet. Don't have to do this at all. You can just leave it at the eyes. <laughs> now, of course, hedgehogs need spikes. You could stick whatever you like in little sticks from the garden. I've got these funny things that you can get from a craft shop, which are like matchsticks without the match stick on the end. But if you have got matches, you can get an adult to snap off the match bit, or you can snap it off yourself. Now, I bend them in half and stick the spiky snapped bit inside body of the hedgehog two spikes in you're going to need some more than that it's just not enough um of course i don't have to use these things i mean i can see on my desk i've got some bits of lavender and actually if i broke those off they'd make lovely spikes i'm going to put some of those in just for fun and actually, if you wanted to go really alternative, you just stick the whole bit of lavender in. I think that's a bit much, but it does smell nice. I'm taking that bit out. But this, the stalk of the lavender, that works pretty well. So basically, we need to cover him. Now, I expect you'll probably do a better job than I will. And you don't need to go quickly. that a bit further over there you can see what I'm doing can't you forget getting having too much fun with my hedgehog here I forgot you couldn't see now I think Beatrix Potter called her hedgehog this is Tiddly Tiddlywinkle this is Tiddlywinkle hmm I can't remember it's a long time since I heard that story I was watching a Peter Rabbit film the other day. That was good. They've got number two out. So that might be a treat for some time this week. Now, Peter Rabbit's another Beatrix Potter figure. In case you wondered why I was whispering about that. All right, then. So here is Lorna's version of a Beatrix Potter hedgehog. And you can leave him to dry. I probably wouldn't paint it when it was dry, but you can if you like to. You can paint the whole thing um, brown. I would mix a little bit of PVA, gloopy paint in, and then that can give it a little bit of a varnish, or paint it and then put the PVA on when the paint's dry. But that does give you a bit of a seal, and that acts like a varnish. All right, this little fella's gonna dry. So, we've made Joe Lomo House, Beatrix Polder. Hedgehog. And last but not least, in my next video, I'm going to make a snail. See if you can guess which artist has given me that idea. Until next time, see you on the other side. Goodbye.